We'll start in the Amplify console in an existing Amplify project. We'll then click on Backend Environments and then choose the backend environment that we'd like to clone. From here, we'll scroll down into the Edit Backend section and copy the CLI command to our clipboard. Back at the terminal, we'll paste in the command and then press Enter. Next, we'll choose the AWS profile in the text editor that we'd like to use. I'm working in a React Native project and we'll be accepting the defaults for the rest of the options. If you plan on making changes to this backend environment, choose Yes. Once the environment is cloned, you should now see an Amplify folder as well as an aws-exports.js file. Next, we'll test it out by opening the project in our text editor. I'll first configure Amplify in index.js by calling amplify.configure passing in the configuration from aws-exports.js. In app.js, I'll import the with authenticator higher order component from AWS Amplify React Native and change the default export to be the with authenticator wrapping the app component. I'm in a React Native environment, so I'll open the project in Xcode to test out an iOS build in the iOS simulator. When the application loads, I should be able to sign up for a new account and then sign in.